Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. As per usual, say it with me. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here, but we'll find out together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. If you'd like to check out my Patreon, there's a link down in the description. And please, follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Alrighty. I do, I am a, I'm just as active on Instagram as I am on YouTube. It's generally one to two posts a day, and sometimes you get sneak peeks of the stuff that I'm going to unbox or review before it actually um, shows up on the channel. So there you go. Yeah, notes. Looks like a Spyderco box in there. Metal Complex. Here is my Spyderco Native 5 and S90V. My email. There we go. Uh, if you would like to give a shout out during the review, uh, I do have an Instagram account. It's 2gem. 2gem. See if I can get that right there. Yeah, see it? 2 G, well maybe it's possibly 2 G E M or 2 G C M. Anyways, give him a follow on Instagram. It's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily night content. Uh, let's see here. He says, keep up the great content. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Oh, are we out of focus? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm sure everybody's eyes were just like, ah. Okay. So we know what this is now. Let's take a look. Yeah, so I have never actually reviewed a Native 5 Lightweight. This one's also in a very interesting shade of cyan, I think is how we're going to pronounce that. CPM S90V. Always been curious. So, here's the thing. The Native 5 to me is like a mini Shaman lockback, essentially. And then, of course, we have uh, this. The one that I owned, I owned two different versions of it. I owned the old, uh, I think it was the S... 30. Well, no, at one point, I, I personally owned an S90V G10 version of it, the Blurple version. Um, and it had, if I remember correctly, little countersunk liners. And then I owned another one that was all G10, locked back with no liners, which was interesting. Um, and I think that one was S35VN. I really liked it. It was one of the only, I mean, the size of it was fantastic. It was one of the only lockback knives I found that I wanted to carry day to day. Um, so, you know, some, as someone who's coming around to the lightweight, by the way, this will be linked right down below. Uh, absolutely, I will link this knife and Spyderco knives in general right down below so you can check it out. Um, somebody who's coming around to the whole lightweight knife thing, I mean, at least the material that Spyderco uses and the construction of it, which I think is pretty good, and they still manage to, for whatever reason, the Spyderco FRN or injection mold plastic knives feel a lot more solid than some of the other knives, some of the other popular knives in the market that are using similar materials. Um, I really wanted to check this out. This is a good profile uh, and the materials on it. I mean, S90V, uh, obviously, if for anybody who doesn't know, that's a stainless steel that is uh, very, very high on the edge retention scale. So that's kind of neat. I like that. Um, yeah, other than that, though, I think it's pretty much the same Native 5. This one's good and snappy. It's kind of what you'd expect for... Oh, actually, it's pretty easy to disengage. It kind of falls, right? Can you flick it? Um, get it right at the right angle. Yeah, you can flick it. Let's try the reverse flick. It's going to be pretty much straight up on these lockbacks, and you, you can totally do that as well. So, yeah, this one seems to have broken in nicely. Wow, no... Bl Honestly, I thought it's probably loose. It's probably got blade play. <laughs> actually, no, it doesn't. Um, the, uh, the biggest reason, you know, I've reviewed this knife before, so when we talk about it, it'll be kind of a review, kind of an overview. Um, but, uh, the biggest reason to, that I enjoy this knife is that it's so small and you still have, the, the handle has an enormous amount of room on it. Real quick, anybody who's never taken a look up against the Spyderco Para 3, you can see here it's actually just a, yeah, it's just a touch shorter than the Para 3, but... Your ergonomic lines. This has got a little bit less of an extreme curvature in the thing, in the main, the primary finger positions, right? More of a straight handle. This is much more of a shaman. Uh, I'll give you guys a look at the shaman up next to it, so you can see what I mean when I'm when I say it's got similar a similar uh, body shape. Same thing, right? Slight curve down here, a little bump comes up, down, and then you have the uh, forward choil. On the pair of three. 
more aggressive curvature down here, much more aggressive hump, right? I think that's why they made skinny scales for this guy. And then this area is much deeper, and then it's much, uh, it's pretty similar up there, uh, the forward choil behind the um, blade. So yeah, um, that's pretty cool, and it's going to fit well into that sort of preferable general EDC size range for a lot of people. I think that's really all that I can comment on in terms of first impressions. As per usual, this is not a review. This is an unboxing and first impressions video. And that means that a probably 20-minute comprehensive overview slash review uh, is uh, coming here in the next few weeks for this guy. So stay tuned if you want to hear my thoughts on the lightweight Native 5. Guys, I think that's going to be pretty much it today. Uh, thank you again. Uh, let's two, two, two GCM. I hope that's 2GCM for sending this in. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to take a closer look at it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.